Hey everybody, it's Miraline Delicious Delights. So today I'll be talking about my Jean Art or Jean Arthez collection. Uh, one of you guys in the comments, uh, a viewer of mine who I've had for a while, has told me that it's actually pronounced Jean Art. So I'll try to remember that it's Jean Art and not Jean Arthez because I've been saying Arthez for a while now. Uh, but anyways, thank you to the viewer who pointed that out to me. So yeah, I will be talking about my Jean Art collection. I have quite a few here. These were all blind buy purchases that I've made. I was just very curious about this collection, uh, mostly because they are very affordable scents and I love finding perfumes that smell good, but they're also affordable. So yeah, I have 14 fragrances here uh, that I'll quickly talk about. They are ranked from my least favorite to my most favorite. And I kind of want to do these in some categories, uh, the misses, the middle of the road scents, and then at the very end, I'll talk about my top five. So let's begin first with the misses. Uh, ones that I did not enjoy so much um, from this collection. In last place, we have Cassandra Roses Blanche, uh, which means white roses. And I thought I would love the scent um, because of the notes. Um, there's cassis, pear, lychee, and peach, among other notes as well. Uh, but those, I think, are some of the main ones. And it doesn't smell horrible. It's not terrible or anything. It's the opening that I don't really enjoy with this one. It's kind of sharp. There's something about this opening that doesn't agree with me on skin. It's just kind of harsh and sharp in the opening. As it dries down, it does get better. But it's just not my favorite one of these. I wouldn't buy it, although I paid probably like five euros. Uh, for this one. So <laughs> I didn't lose too much, but yeah, it was just kind of a disappointing one. Uh, white roses. I love white roses. I love them because I see them very often in the Netherlands where I live on the roadside. My husband gets me white roses as well, um, just out of the blue because maybe he'll see it on the way home from work or something and he'll pick me some up. So uh, that's why I wanted to love this, but I don't. But it's not like bad. It's just not for me. So that's Cassandra Roses Blanche. Now another one that didn't work out for me, unfortunately, and this is one that I also thought I would love, but I just didn't. <laughs> it's called a Guipier, uh, Ylang and Vanilla. Or oh, Ylang Vanille. So I thought I would like this because I love the notes of Ylang Ylang and Vanilla. Um, again, it's not like a horrible scent. It doesn't smell offensive or super terrible or anything, but there's something in here, especially in the opening, that is kind of strange. It kind of gives me the feeling of almost a minty fresh scent, which paired with vanilla and ylang ylang and coconut, it didn't really work on my skin. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> it was just something strange, like a spearmint, and there's no like minty notes as far as I remember with this one. Um, but on skin, it was just a bit strange for me, and I didn't really enjoy it. So there's also some notes of uh, coconut in here, and of course, the ylang and vanilla. It's just one that I thought I would love and I don't. So this one for me was a miss. Now the ones I'm going to talk about uh, now are ones that were kind of all right. They were kind of middle of the road for me. They weren't bad. They weren't terrible. Nice pleasant scents, but um, nothing like amazing or mind-blowing or anything. So I have some here from the Boom collection. Um, I will say that I do enjoy the bottle designs for sure. Uh, I have had them back here. Uh, today I have my Chanel um, Chance collection up here. Um, but anyways, uh, Boom Candyland. So again, the bottle is super, super cute. It has like this little pin here. And this one here has some notes of milk and black currant, toffee and melon. 
and also cotton candy and vanilla and that sounds really really nice and it is a very nice scent um, but it's just a very simple candy like scent it reminds me of opening a bag of Halloween candy and you get the scent of all mixed candies like lollipops especially lollipops hard candies fruit candies so if you just want to smell like straight up candy, you might like this one, but it's just probably not something I would reach for often, although I think it's pleasant and there's, yeah, there's nothing really wrong with it, but I would probably reach for other candy-like sweet uh, scents before this one. Okay, so another one from uh, the Boom collection is called Sweet Lollipop. This is one that I've had the longest out of my uh, all of these ones. I blind this one. I blind bought this one. Sorry, um, many years ago in a TK Maxx. It was like five euros. Uh, the notes looked really really nice. There's gingerbread, cinnamon, uh, cotton candy, and vanilla. And I actually reviewed this one uh, a long time ago as well. So. Yeah, Sweet Lollipop is a pleasant scent. Uh, however, it does remind me of another perfume. It reminds me of Pink Sugar. So if you can imagine a Pink Sugar, but they've added some spicy cinnamon to it, that's what this one smells like. So it's almost like a flanker of Pink Sugar. And I do like Pink Sugar but I would probably reach for the original Pink Sugar first over this one. But I think this is a very fun, pleasant, super sweet cotton candy scent with uh, the same cute bottle. But yeah, it's a nice scent, uh, but I've had this for a long time and it's pretty full there, so you can tell that I don't wear it uh, very often. But yeah, it's okay, it's nice sweet lollipop another boom fragrance uh, this one is just called boom for her i believe this is the original one and this one here has some gorgeous notes listed uh, there's sugar cane strawberry black tea raspberry and floral notes and that sounds really lovely like a sweet uh, fruity fruity floral scent I mean, it's pleasant as well. It is a very clean, freshy, mostly strawberry slash raspberry scent. Um, but yeah, I think it's pleasant, but it's not super unique or anything and probably one that I wouldn't be reaching for often. Maybe I'll change my mind later, but there are other things in my collection I would probably reach for before this. But yeah, it's a simple, inoffensive, everyday, all ages, sweet, fruity, floral perfume. Perfect for all occasions, fresh, pretty, and nice, but maybe also kind of forget forgettable, sorry. <laughs> so that's a boom for her. Now the next two here, uh, to my nose, smell kind of similar. Uh, these ones are from the Jean en Provence uh, collection, which I believe is the same company as Jean Art. But I also wanted to include them anyways. Uh, the two that I have here is Alombe de Amandiers. I know uh, I'm probably butchering that, but I am trying my best. Alombe de Amandier, maybe something like that. And then there's also Le Temps des Secrets. So look at the bottles here. They're super, super adorable. I really like the bottle design. It's very classy and simple. And then you have the nice logo on top of the caps there. So the Amandiers, Alombe des Amandier or Amandiers. This one has some notes of almond and um, orange blossom, almond, again, sorry, uh, milk, praline, iris, vanilla, musk. This one is a soft, almondy, relaxing, milky, nutty scent. This one 
is perfect, I think, as a bedtime scent. It's a very light, um, therapeutic, not overwhelming, soft, pillowy. It's just a very relaxing scent. And I really, really like that. And if you're into that kind of scent profile, something just barely there, you have to come in close to smell it. Um, but just a very soft, nutty, milky sweetness then this is definitely one to get your nose on. As for the Les Temps de Le Temps de Secret Eau de Parfum, the notes in here are also beautiful. There's uh, lychee, almond, of course, rose, peach, vanilla, praline, and musk. Yeah, and it doesn't smell exactly like this one, but I definitely get the same kind of feeling with the two is very relaxing kind of like a bedtime uh, kind of scent close to the skin soft gentle elegant I do find this uh, Le Temps des Secrets to be a little bit sweeter than this and also I checked on the uh, section where it says smells like or similar to on Fragrantica and some people have voted that this smells like flower bomb from Victor and Rolf. I haven't tested them side by side just from memory I don't really think so but in any case I think it's a beautiful scent. Very very nice scent very affordable and these two are ones to check out if you're looking for uh, like a very relaxing maybe bedtime scent or very soft close to the skin kind of perfume Now next up we have one called Vanille Tropical Eau de Parfum This one is just a 30 mils and this one here I found to be very very pleasant as well Now this one has some notes of coconut exotic fruit, vanilla, flower, sandalwood, and white musk. And basically what I get from Vanille Tropical is a vanilla sweetness, coconutty, tropical flower scent. <laughs> I think that this would be higher on my list if it was stronger because this is a very, very light scent. This is probably the lightest scent out of all the ones that I'm talking about today, at least when I wear it. So it's barely there. You do have to spray a lot. It's not one that really projects a lot or lasts a long time. It's kind of like a pick-me-up scent that smells of vanilla and coconut. So yeah, I think that when it comes to this scent profile, I do own other coconut vanilla scents. Uh, I would probably reach for those first before this one, but it is a pleasant scent. Very easygoing, very intimate and soft, but one that I probably wouldn't reach for very often. Um, so that's a Vanille Tropical. Okay, so we're almost at the top five. There's one more before I get into that. And this one is called Cassandra Rose Jasmine. This is uh, from the same collection, of course, as the other one I talked about, the first one, the Rose is Blanche. It's an eau de parfum. And Rose Jasmine has some notes of uh, f jasmine tea, a pear, uh, jasmine, of course, and rose, of course, white peach and musk. And when I tested and wore this one, this one reminds me a lot of another scent that I absolutely love. It doesn't smell exactly like it, but it reminds me of Trussardi Donna Eau de Toilette. And I have talked a lot about that one in the past on my channel. So this one gives me those same vibes. It is a fresh fruity jasmine and rose scent you definitely get the jasmine tea note in here and if i remember right uh, the donna eau de toilette also has a jasmine tea note in there and it is stunning you guys this is absolutely beautiful it's refreshing it's easy to wear it's super pretty and yeah it is just basically a gorgeous uh, jasmine 
almost transparent, refreshing, cooling, floral, sweet scent. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So that's Rose Jasmine Cassandra. Okay, so let's jump in to the top five. These are my favorites of all of the ones that I have discovered from this house. In the fifth spot, we have Amore Mio Tropical Crush. So first of all, this bottle is very, very cute and unique. You have this uh, snake here that wraps around and then the half shape apple here. And then you have like the seeds of the apple kind of grooved in, in there. I guess some people might find this tacky, but <laughs> I don't really mind tacky sometimes. It's cute. And I really, really like this one. So this one actually reminds me a lot of another scent that I own. Um, but that one I left in Canada. And it reminds me a lot of Escada Taj Sunset. And... It was discontinued like a long time ago, but I believe they brought it back now and I'm not sure if it's been reformulated. Uh, but this smells like the original version of Taj Sunset. It has some notes of nectarine, mango, raspberry, milk, apple, cacao, and musk. And basically, this is a juicy, sweet, fruity, ripe scent. Super delicious. It makes me think of a tropical cocktail. It reminds me of fruit syrup as well with all these different types of tropical fruits. I also smell guava in here. It's not a listed note, but when I first tried it, uh, I was thinking of guava, maybe some lychee, but just a mix of ripe fruits mango as well. It is stunning, you guys. <laughs> so if you liked Escada Taj Sunset, you might want to give this a try. Uh, I think this one was around like eight euros or something like that. So they're pretty close. I haven't tried them side by side, but they are close. And I think it's super fun, not so serious, sweet, fruity, simple, and fantastic. So that's number five, Amore Mio Tropical Crush. In number four spot, we have another one of the Boom fragrances. This one surprised me, actually. This is Boom Savon. And this one to me basically smells like a bubble bath. <laughs> so this one has some notes of almond, florals, lily of the valley, water lily, and musk. It is clean, fresh, musky, and it's perfect as something you can wear just when you're out of the shower, something you can wear when it's super hot and you don't want something so heavy or thick, just a nice, clean, fresh scent that smells soapy as well, but in the best way possible. So yeah, Boom, uh, boom Savon. In the third spot, we have one called Pavlova. And so this is part of the collection called Tea Time à Paris. Uh, this bottle here is very different and unique. I adore the color of the bottle. It makes me think of strawberries and cream. It makes me think of strawberry shortcake. The vanilla cake is moist and soft and you got a lot of the cream on top with some extra strawberry slices as well. I'm also reminded of a strawberry yogurt kind of scent as well in this one. Mm, yeah, it's lovely. <laughs> it's a lovely cakey, strawberry, fruity, gourmand scent. I'm picturing myself walking along the street passing a bakery with lots of pastries and cakes and stuff like that. So Pavlova, I love it. <laughs> That's number three. Now in the second spot, we have another Boom fragrance. This is my favorite Boom fragrance uh, from the ones that I've tried here today. It's Vanille Sapome d'Amour. So I guess that means vanilla apple of love. 
<laughs> and this one has some notes of orange, uh, praline, candy apples, red apple, vanilla, and musk. I like this scent because it smells like candy apples to me. So I am taken back into my childhood staring at the caramel candy apples at the fair. I never ate them very often, but when I did, it was just so sticky and gooey and sweet and juicy and I loved it. So <laughs> I guess this one is more of a nostalgic sense for me. It smells like the carnival or the fair and being a kid and going on the rides and having so much fun. It's a sweet candy apple scent that is super fun and I adore it. So that's number two, Vanille Sapome d'Amour from the Boom Collection. Now, finally, we're at the number one spot. This is my favorite Jean Art fragrance. This one I got maybe early last year or maybe two years ago and it's called Macaron Amand. This is a uh, part of the Tea Time Apari collection as well. And again, the color here is so, so cute. Uh, this one has some notes of almond, dried plum, heliotrope, orange blossom, uh, milk, and vanilla. Mm. So basically this one is a milky almond nutty creamy vanilla scent to me it smells like icing like buttercream icing just topped up high on a vanilla cake it does give me kind of the same vibes as this i get like strawberry shortcake vibes from this one with a lot of icing this is also an icing kind of scent that is sweet creamy milky delicious Gourmand, literal, nutty, has a little bit of powderiness as well, so maybe some extra powdered sugar on top. But yeah, it's a lovely scent. It's super fun. I think I paid like the same, like eight euros for this, eight to 10 euros, and I'm in love with it. So Macaron Amand is my number one Jean Art fragrance. So yeah, that rounds out this big ranking list of the Jean Art collection. If you have tried these scents, I would love to hear which are your favorites, which are your least favorites. Thank you so, so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys soon in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.